Good evening, Tightliners, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm down here on Doc ba or Doc Mawr, would you believe it? Um, I came down to meet Kay and Cameron's here. Um, they're just cooking up some dinner, and then hopefully we just put a few casts in here, and when they've eaten, we're probably going to go off somewhere else. Anyway, I've put a big bait out of, of a big blue lug bait out on an up and over. That's still still. And I put a three hook scratcher in with um, ragworm, and as soon as I hit the bottom, it started rattling like hell. Anyway, let's see how many whiting are on this already. As predicted, guys, a whiting. Kay thinks that he may have dropped the codling earlier before I arrive. Um, anyway, let's get this unhooked. There we go. Let's get in a bucket there because that's going on us bait again in a bit. So, hey guys, hope you've all been well. There's a fish, I haven't blanked. Let's get this out again. Best, best put some bait on first. <laughs> right, let's get the bait on this and I'll get you back in a bit. Namakuddy. Right guys, so like I said, first whiting, first cast on a whiting. Now that big wad of lugworm I've had out has been bouncing as well. But I'm very tempted to just leave that for just a little bit longer, just in case that whiting's got hooked. And then there's a live bait on there. Okay, he's just got his 21st species, a uh, five bearded droplin. Yep. Counted them as well. <laughs> yeah? Have you got your card, have you? Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is a rare species. <laughs> 22. <laughs> yeah. So, once these two have eaten, we're going to move on somewhere else, hopefully. Because I'm not staying here catching little ting all night. No, right guys, so I put that pen or rig out with the uh, lugworm, big lugworm bait, and there we are, a pair of waiting. It's not what it was intended for. But there we go. <laughs> Let's get another bit of lugworm out there, just in case there is a codling or something in there. It only has to be the same size as these, just to count for the specimen hunt. No, Right guys, so I've had enough of here now. Water's filled in a bit now to go to, to another spot, just a bit further on over there, on the rocks. So that's where I'm going, in search of a nice hearse and possibly another ray. Anyway, so next time you see me, I'll be on there, and then in a bit, Kay and Cameron will probably join me too. Oh, we will be. Anyway, normal chadig. Right guys, welcome back. So I've arrived at a new spot, two baits gone out, two bait gone out on up and overs. I put a whole joey mackerel out and one of those whiting that I caught over in the dock over there. Um, anyway, so I'm going to bait up the, well, set up a third rod now with some scratching stuff. Um, just in case there's rockling, you know, things like that. Maybe a flounder or a um, place or something. I have had place here in the darkness before, so it is possible. So anyway, let's get another one set up. Kay and Cameron will be on their way hopefully in a bit, once they've had their scran, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Tide's flooding, so soon have a lot of water here, but I know that I've caught hus and rays 
from round about this say to the tide upwards. So hopeful to see a decent fish. Anyway, we're out, we got bait in the water, and because we have a bait in the water, we have a chance. So anyway, I'll get another rod sorted, and when I do, work in doll, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Namakadi. Right guys, so the situation is that I put a third rod in now. Um, Lugworm on one, ragworm on the other two. Just have a scratch around. Um, the one I put out first with the mackerel bait, with the dewy, that one's going, little tingy kind of bites going on there, typical. Um, so I'm going to leave it, but again, if a ting does manage to hook itself, we all know what happened when I caught that nice 84 centimetre ray um, a few weeks ago. Um, it was there was the time. Uh, start again. It was the waiting first, and then oh my other rod. The scratching rod is going now, guys. Like I expected it to. Hey right, guys, I haven't mentioned merchandise for a while, but uh, these beanies, have had, they've been sold out for a bit, but they're back in stock guys, £13, super warm for this time of year, absolutely brilliant, wouldn't go without it, tighten this thing up. Yeah, so if you fancy it, drop me a message on Facebook, on direct message, and uh, I get it sorted. Or use c.perry75 at btinternet.com um, on PayPal and send me £13 plus £4 postage, and I'll get that sorted. Also, don't forget, I do have the hoodies. And if you're starting to think about spring and summer, I do probably still have some uh, summer hats too. What I'd like to see now is one of those big baits just bend right over. So I said about Bella Rabbit with Eich and Dol. Well, guys, not a lot happening to be honest with you. The uh, Joey mackerel I went out came back bones only. So on that one now, I put out a herring. The whiting that I put out came back untouched. And on that one now, I put a double sand deal. <laughs> How often do you see this happen, guys? Now you get to the very end of your bait elastic. It's not very often that's ever happened. <laughs> anyway, that's about the most excitement I've seen so far. Um, even the scratching rig, not really producing anything. I think I've got a little bite on there now though, I think. Right, so I think what I'll try on the next one is um, maybe a mackerel fillet with some squid by the side of it. So I'll get this uh, waiting off the hook now and get that bait prepared. So sort of a fella arver, Right, guys, look at the size on that little dogfish. Probably the smallest dogfish I've seen for a very, very long time. That was on that double sand deal. Had to happen, I suppose. So out on there now, 
Joey mackerel fillets with um, squid. Uh, Kay has decided to stay over in the dock because he uh, hooked into a hearse and it dropped on the surface so he's staying to see if he can get one there. I'm going to stick out here for a little bit longer. Right, that's free. Look at the size. <laughs> and also on the scratching rig, three waiting there then as well. Slightly bigger stamp of fish here than there were over there though. So anyway, I'll keep at it. It's now coming up to midnight. I'll give it another half an hour, three quarters of an hour. I call it night, I think. Anyway, sort of a dark and dull. I don't know if you can see the rod tips. However, the bait that I put out, the mackerel and the squid, bouncing like crazy. Um, just ting bites. See if I can get it on that way. Yeah. <laughs> Typical waiting bites on there. waiting on a whole sand deal. Very simple. One O Aberdeen's from Limitless. Sand deal on the bottom one. Blow lug on the top two. Last of it now actually. Surprising it lasted so well. Got that for the match on Friday night. It's Tuesday now. Right. Get this one back in. Try in a different spot to see if there's anything on there.
lights. Let's see what that brings. Guys, don't forget, if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny, and it helps me out a lot. Is there a big fish in here again tonight? The last time I came here with Kay, there were no big fish, either just dog and uh, waiting again. Have the big fish arrived here? That's the thing. Right, guys, on that big herring bait that I put out, a second dog. Anyway, I put another herring out again now. There's got to be a big fish in there. <laughs> I'm going to give another half an hour and that's it. Anyway, let's get back to watching the rods. No more could Right guys, so I've uh, packed everything up, apart from one rod. This is one I had a full herring on, and I had one of these a minute ago. Um, I don't know, is there something playing with it? Or is it just a dog? I think it's just a dog. Well, I don't know either. Could be. Oh, hang on. It just dropped it, whatever it was. Damn it. Properly scragged anyway. Right, so that is the end of the session tonight. Um, nothing exciting to bring you, obviously. Just some waiting and a couple of dogfish. Uh, I'd like to get out again, at least once again in the middle of the week. Um, Possibly Thursday now, and uh, yeah, maybe depending on wind conditions, get down on a beach looking for a small light ray. And obviously, on Thursday, where is it? Today? Yeah, it will be, it will be uh, February, and I will be looking now to obviously try and keep that challenge of catching a ray every month of the year for 2024 anyway guys i hope you enjoyed staying with me for a bit um like i said it wasn't the, one of the most exciting sessions no big fish um but anyway there was plenty of fish i don't know i must have had about 12 15 white waiting in the hole two two uh, dogfish and there might have been something there then but we'll never know um so anyway guys, until next time, hopefully on Thursday, keep your lines tight.